the uh, second game here this afternoon of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup 2014. I am Adam Bukett, your English commentator for this uh, World Cup for 2014, all the way from the uh, Metropolitan Polo Club here in Tianjin, China. Uh, the two teams here warming up, ready to uh, take the field is Australia versus Chile. Uh, we've just this will be the second game on the card for today. The first game being won by Hong Kong China, last year's uh, defending champions, and uh, the players warming up their ponies. As we said, it's quite cold out there on the on the pitch, and uh, the umpire's whistle goes, calling the players into the centre of the field to get this game underway. We'll have a uh, presentation of the players as the. Uh, Dignitary Mr. Uh, Sun Li Sheng will uh, throw the ball in to get the game underway, the second game here today. Field playing very well. Uh, one minor slip in the last game, but the rest of the game was ran very, very well. Um, but what would you expect here from these facilities? An amazing location, uh, surrounded by some beautiful buildings and architecture and um, just one of the spectacles of the Polo Tour. Definitely a world-class facility and something that most people from around the world, if you're interested in Polo, should try and uh, get themselves here at some stage to watch one of some of these games. If nothing else, at least get here for the finals, which will be on the 19th. As we have the Argentine marching band coming to the centre of the field. And two teams will then line up and we'll do the national anthems. So it was a nail bite of the first game. Hong Kong China were down by two goals. It was four goals to two in favour of Spain, the underdogs, with two minutes left on the clock. But it was then all Hong Kong in the last two minutes. And they went out eventual winners, five goals to four. So our umpires for today for this game will be Chris Bethel, all the way from England. And Nico Scottichini uh, will be our other umpire. Australian team has two cousins, Ed Gould and Rookie or John Bailey, um, are cousins, and the third player will be Kelvin Johnson. Uh, Kelvin playing here last year for the Australian team. They didn't get through to the uh, qualifiers, to the semis, but they um, have changed that team around this year, and I think you'll find a much stronger outfit here from the Australians. But the Chileans. Uh, a force to be reckoned with, uh, especially in this the small arena polo. Stand by for the Australian national anthem.
So ends the Chilean National Anthem. And we will now have the, as the Argentinian marching band leaves the field. We'll have the introduction of the players. Starting with the Australian players. So for Australia, number one, Kelvin Johnson. One of the best arena players coming out of Australia in the last few years. Ed Gould, the four goer from Queensland at number two. And at number three, it will be John Ricky Bailey. Australia's highest rated player on seven goals at the moment. And So for Chile, at number one, Juan Jamarillo. Number two for Chile will be Ignacio Vial. And at number three, Matias Vial. So the players now warming up their ponies to get this second qualifying game underway. The ball will be thrown in by Li Lee, Lee Shang, who's the uh, director of amateur sports section at the Tianjin Sports Bureau. He will be throwing the ball in to get this game underway. So lining up at number one will be Kelvin Johnson for Australia. And the ball goes thrown in now. We're off and running in the second game here of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. It's Chile on the attack. Lovely big lofted shot, but it's been hit up into the wind, so the ball will hold up there. It may not carry. Ruki Bailey, Jack Bailey takes it forward. Now, Kelvin Johnson goes for the near side, but it's Vial that's come up with it. Vial, Ignacio Vial Martinez. Will he put the first goal on the board? He's been stifled there by Kelvin Johnson. And the flag has gone up, so it's goal time for Chile. A lovely little back shot there by the Chilean. Drawing first blood here in the second qualifier now. John Bailey bringing the ball in on the black pony now for Australia, looking for some runners. Ed Gould just trying to keep the Chilean away from Bailey. Unsuccessful, the Chilean comes up with it, but now it's Bailey now in the clear. Doesn't quite get enough wood onto it. Now it's been hit up there by VR, but it's gone out over the back line. So it'll be... Both teams just struggling a little bit, just getting a little bit of their footing in this first minute of the chucker. So it'll be Jack Rookie Bailey hits the ball cleanly, looking for Kelvin Johnson now. Kelvin Johnson's out in front. He's got he's got the Chilean on his side now. Lovely neck shot towards the centre of the field. It sits up there nicely, but Kelvin's now trying to pull the pony up in the back. Oh, it's been big neck shot required by Ed Gould for Australia, but. The Australian cannot put it through the goal. So, Chile now on the attack with a hit in off the back line. And it'll be Matias Vial, the number three with the grey helmet for Chile. Taking it forward. Looking to get past Ed Gould for Australia now. Kelvin Johnson sticking with Matthias is Ed Gould for Australia. Lovely back shot. Look at that. Look at that team play there now. John Ricky Bailey now on the black horse. He's going to have to try and get in behind the number three, number one player here for Chile. Hooked out of it now. 
and it's won. Jamarillo. Now, hit up cleanly to the number three. He's waiting for runners, and who's coming? Oh, gets the deflection off the pony's hind quarter now, but it'll be Kelvin Johnson. Back shot across, looking for Ed Gould. Or it's Ed Gould now, hits the ball cleanly, but it doesn't go where he wants it, so it's headed out to the board. Ed Gould. Big back shot called, but it's gone into the legs of the pony that was following him. Now another back shot by Chile. Who's on the attack here? It'll be near side, but he's been told to leave it. Lovely near side play by John Bailey. Now appeals for the foul and gets it. The whistle's gone, so it'll be Australia with the first penalty. So the umpire saying that Bailey had the line for Australia. But because they're going across the field, they're only going to get a penalty on the spot. They're not going to get it walked up to be a 30-yard. If they were attacking the goal mouth, they would have walked that ball up and put it on the 30-yard line. So a chance here, an opportunity for... Australia to draw even with three minutes left on the clock. The clock has stopped when the penalty whistle went. Australia now jostling for position. That's not really where they wanted it to go. Bailey needed that to go straighter. The wind does get this ball. It'll be chilly. Jamarillo up the boards now looking for Vial. Ignacio Vial now back shot. Lovely back shot there by Johnson, but there's no Australian players back there. So it's Matias Vial now in defence. The Chile and lovely shot by Bailey. Will he keep it in the field of play? It's in the far corner now, but it's gone out over the back line, so it'll be chilly. The hit in from the back line. Two minutes 27 on the clock, and it's 1 0. Umpire saying Kelvin Johnson needed to move off the line there. The Chilean accelerated, rode into the pony of Kelvin Johnson. As we said, there's no, none of these players here have uh, brought their own ponies. They have been, all these ponies have been supplied by the Metropolitan Polo Club. Manager here, Derek Reed, doing an amazing job putting these ponies together for such a uh, world class event. And it'll be chilly with a hit from the halfway mark. And it'll be. Vial to take the shot. Matias Vial with the grey helmet. Doesn't quite get it again. Appeals for the foul and gets it. So Kelvin Johnson for Australia now. He's created two of those fouls. Matias Vial not riding dangerously into him just trying to show the umpire that the uh, that he had the line and Johnson needed to move off that line he didn't need to be impeding that that line so once that ball creates a line the opposing team can't cross it unless they take the man with them and the umpire deeming that Kelvin Johnson for Australia has parked in front of the player coming up that line and has therefore impeded the player so Chile now with a penalty to take the score two goals to nil. So, Matias Vial, the three for Chile, will take the penalty. Hits it cleanly and it's flags gone up. So it's two goals to nil in favour of Chile. Australia needing to do something now. Two minutes left on the clock. They don't want to let this, this lead blow out to be too great. Now, Kelvin Johnson now just takes the check, hits it across, looking for Gould. Now, lovely neck shot by Johnson, but oh, just couldn't convert. So, Johnson having a few problems with the pony. Would have been great to uh, go into the final minute of this chuckle with the goal, but wasn't to be, so it's now. Matias Vial, the number three for Chile, bringing it in from the back line now. 
Vial unloads the big ball, comes off the hind quarter of Ed Gould's horse. Ed Gould looking around for the ball, doesn't quite get it, but it's going to be Ignacio Vial now taking it around. Near side required by Ed Gould, but he couldn't get to the ball cleanly without impeding the line for Chile. So Chile will get another penalty. So Australia all over the line here, not riding these lines cleanly, and they're paying the price for it at the moment with three consecutive penalties going to the Chilean team. And it'll be Matias Vial initially appealing for a 30-yard uh, shot, but the umpire saying, no, no, come back here to halfway. It'll be a penalty from halfway because they were inside the half. And so, great polo here by the Chileans to... Uh, it's very simple. Once that line goes in a certain direction, that creates the new line. And you cannot cross that line unless you take your man with you. So, the Chileans appealing for a foul here. The umpires have actually given the penalty. The whistle has gone. Umpires disagree. One umpire there blew that whistle thinking that the Chilean had actually hit the ball in under the Australian's horse to try and create that foul. So that's why he blew that. Now, back shot now. Who's out with it? Value for Australia now. Australia on the attack. Leaves the ball behind, unfortunately, but who's back there? Ed Gould, the number two for Australia. Nothing but him and daylight between him and the ball. And now he clears it out to the boards. I think he was looking for the deflection off the boards there, but he got too much onto it. So with 45 seconds on the clock, they're two goals down, and it'll be a throw-in by the umpire. And it's out to the centre. Rookie Bailey, John Bailey, riding hard here to try and save this game. Big neck shot there by one pony down. Pony down by Ignacio Vial, the number two for Chile. Pony leaving the field in good condition. He's just had a slip. And the whistle has gone with 30 seconds left on the clock. So the number two, Ignacio Vial, is uh, on the deck waiting for his horse to be brought back. And... Uh, the Australians may take this 30 seconds to regather and uh, think about what they've have or haven't done in this chucker to allow the Chileans to get two goals up. But as we saw in the previous game, the games on these fields can turn around very quickly. So. It'll be a throw-in because the umpires have blown the whistle for safety reasons. If the player comes down within uh, the dangerous area of the game of the play, they, uh, the umpires will blow the whistle and have a throw-in once the once they check that the pony's okay and the, hook, the the gear and everything's okay. So, Ignacio Vial Mazeres is back on his pony. Uh, pony on this occasion is uh, Smoking Joe. So the umpires will throw the ball in here to the boards. And it comes out. Who's got it? It's the number three for Chile, or is it John Bailey? The bell has gone. A big clearing shot there across the field. Kelvin Johnson's not going to get there in time for Australia. It'll be Vial again. The number two for Chile. Will he make it three goals to nil in this final chucker? Kelvin Johnson waiting for it to go across the field. No, it doesn't go through. John Bailey now. He's going to have to put his skates on to get to the other end here. John John Bailey now, the hook game, and who's next? Ed Gould can't get to it, but it's going to be Vial, and the Buddha has gone. So, at the end of the first chucker, it's been all chilly. 
and we go to the break with Chile up two goals to nil at the end of the first chucker, the second game here.